Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new to Tired Reads. Today's video I am discussing my Zero to Hero books. Cue Hercules song. So, <laughs> by this I mean the books that I personally didn't hear a lot about. They still could have been hyped. I just didn't hear a lot about them at the time. I think one of these was like from school, so I'm counting it because who hypes up a school book? And if you're thinking The Great Gatsby, think again. Get wrecked. But other than that, these are some books that I didn't know much about, I knew a little about, maybe I heard one person talk about it, and they have become some of my favorite books. Little disclaimer, I don't have the best memory retention, so some of these books I don't remember the details. All I know is that in the moment I loved them, and I still do now. I'm not going to be giving the best synopses, hopefully I will do my best as to why it's sold. So first up is Dry by Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman, his son. This book is, I categorize it as a YA dystopian where in California water has basically run out. They are on such a sh like um, a budget of water for families. So then you follow this happening over I want to say a year, maybe more, but you follow these kids, they're, they're teenagers, follow them. As they try to survive, they go out to find more water in the in the state. All of these things happen. They try, Then they go back to find their parents. And what really sold me about this is A, the writing. Loved Neil Schusterman and Jared. And the addition to Jared, I don't know what they, he did, but it was great. And then the story, just to like a, a dystopian like this. I love a good dystopian. I haven't read a dystopian in the same, actually that's like, <laughs> I just read a dystopian in the same vein as this, which is Parable of the Sower, which is, it's a stretch. I know, I warmed up for that reach. It was a really big reach, but it's a, it's a similar one where they're like on this dry climate change happening. I will put them on the same level. Of course, Parable of the Sower, a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. But this is like, I mean, it is a YA book. It's a YA version of that story in a sense. A reach of a sense. <laughs> but I think maybe in my point of view, I'm seeing it more as like, I enjoyed the dystopian world falling apart aspect. And that's what I'm connecting. So we got there. We got in that connection. But yes, please check out this book if you have. Next up is... It sounds so bad to say it now, but when I read it in 2019, it wasn't as hyped as it was, but it is a darker shade of magic. Now, at the time, I heard only one person talk about this. I heard that it was like a mashup of Avatar The Last Airbender meets... I forget what it meets. <laughs> oh, it's like Avatar The Last Airbender meets like magic, like it's magic instead of just like moving the elements but when I tell you I fell in love with this book I fell in love with the writing I fell in love with the story it was one of those few books that I could visually see and like I was like this could be a made a movie and like it would do amazing um but I just want to say I read this before it became crazy on TikTok so I'm just throwing that out there but yeah you have this like relationship of you have this relationship of Kel and Lila, which Lila is one of my favorite characters. Uh, she's such a badass. The journey they take over this book and then the next two books is phenomenal. The way it was uh, paced, it was great. The ups and downs in this and like the intrigue of the four different Londons that they have and how they overlap with each other and how they play into each other. It's so, it's just so like intriguing of how she created this world that is like similar to ours, but then like not because of one little addition. This is such a ter- this is a terrible synopsis, but you're not here for a synopsis. I mean, maybe you are. But if you haven't read this because of TikTok, BookTok, Instagram, maybe now you'll read it? Next up is a book. Whoo! It is so good. It is I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. This book. <laughs> 
me. I listened to it on audiobook and I cried multiple times over this book. It broke my heart. I love it so much. I enjoy books that I can find one minuscule thing that I can relate to. And in this book, it is about, this book is about Ben who comes out as non-binary to his parents and they don't take it well and they And it's a heartbreaking story of what they go through and that what Ben deals with as a character for, I don't wanna give too much away, but as with their anxiety and their relationship with their sister is really what spoke to me and connected with me a lot. And the way that they dealt with everything. I saw a lot of myself in the character, in Ben, and it's just a story. Oh, this is so good. And the, the romance in it was beautiful. I, honestly, this one book made me such a fan of Mason Deaver and I'm, all their books is an auto buy now. One book in and I'm, it's an auto buy. I don't, I don't know what to say. But if you have not read, I wish you all the best. Get on it now read it the audiobook's amazing five stars plus i need to reread this like asap because i was skimming some of the chapters and i got a little teary yet oh so i wish you all the best by mason deaver next up is my sister the serial killer by Oy oyinka and braithwaite i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it but it's about this woman who cleans up her sister's murder and the story of how they are in, what, uh, what is it, Nigeria about? I don't think that's correct. So this is a story where Kareed is a nurse who is also a part-time cleaner and cleans up her sister's Angula's murders, where she kills her boyfriends and she comes in and cleans it and takes care of everything. And we get to this point where Kareed fancies, because I'm British apparently, which is, I don't think this is a British accent, but here we are, um, where Kareed fancies a, one, another doctor or nurse, I can't remember exactly, but so does her sister and sh shit goes down. But it's such a, it was a phenomenal story. I need to see if they've written anything else because I, I love the writing. It was very, very well done and it was well paced. And this, uh, I think, is another book that I need to reread. So all of these, it was just making me want to reread them. But if you haven't read this, the cover, I mean, that would make me buy it if you didn't. But the relationship between the two sisters, the family dynamics that happen inside the story that cause things, reveals after reveal, was very, I was like, oh, 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 oh. Please go check it out if you haven't. Next up is The Past and Other Things That Should Stay Buried by Sean David Hutcherson. Um, I've had heard so much about we are, his other book, We Are the Ants, but this book stuck out to me because of the friend dynamics between our two main characters. Between our two main characters, Dino and July, who July is Dino's ex and she suddenly dies, but then she comes back to life. Uh, they form a great friendship after their breakup throughout their journey when July is a zombie, to say. This reminded me of my friendship my, with my best friend and how we act with each other, and it made me cry while I read it in a hot tub. But the journey, the writing was absolutely stunning. It made me fall in love with his writing, and I just can't wait to read more of their books. This is just an all-time favorite because of solely off the friendship dynamic. So if you love a good book with a friend dynamic, this is it. And it's a short read. What can I say? Next up is the book that I was talking about earlier that was a school read, but it wasn't The Great Gatsby, and that is The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini. I don't even know where to begin. I read this in high school. This book follows the journey of, why does it not have a synopsis? Are we too good for a synopsis? I just forgot the main character's name and you're gonna tell me, you're just gonna not tell me the name? I, I just forgot the name. So I'm apparently a fake fan and I cannot remember the name, which I think is Amir, Amir, Amir John? I feel like a fake fan. <laughs> I think that's completely wrong, but this book, brought me to tears twice. I've reread it. I've read it twice. Once in school and just this year. 
I jokingly called this in high school my notebook like Nicholas Sparks the notebook because so many people cry at that but this is such a heart-wrenching story and it follows this boy and his escape from Af why is there no synopsis I just have questions okay that just need to be answered in a quick synopsis um there we go there it goes the tears if I start reading this one. From his escape from Afghanistan as a child where he loses his... I don't know if I should say that. <laughs> you don't know what he loses, but you'll find out. Read this and you'll find out. But after his escape from Afghanistan, he has to go back to deal with personal family matters after someone dies. This is like 30 years into the future. We're following him throughout this we follow his relationship with his father and then he goes back something happens while there we see a different portrayal of afghanistan as to what it was when he grew up and we see those comparisons and then things happen and if you don't know why it's called the kite runner read it and you'll find out and you'll cry with me but this i would say is like top tier favorite book of all time like literal top tier book of all time like no matter the hype or not, and I'm saying this is a zero to hero because who counts high books you read in high school as hyped up? Not I, said the fly. But if you have not read this in school, in life, I, I'm shoving you into the library, the bookstore, some, wherever you get your audio books, somewhere, go get it and read it. You need to. It's phenomenal. And they need to pick up his other works. What more can I say? And my final zero to hero book is Darius the Great is Not Okay by Adib Karam. This book, I'm not sure exactly how I found it. I can't remember that, but I remember listening to it on audio from my library. Um, driving to school one day and I read this in one day. The character... Oh. I opened the book to read the synopsis to find out the name when the title is literally the name. <laughs> Big brains. But we follow Darius and his relationship with his family. He has to go to Iran to, or he doesn't have to, but they go back to his family in Iran, his mother's family, where they like meet each other. They haven't really seen each other since like he was very little. He finds his, or he meets Sarab, his soon to become best friend, and things happen. In this book, it explores Darius's anxiety, his depression, his relationship with his father, and all of these things I have felt and I've connected to another level with Darius. This book made me cry. The sequel did not, but it was like a feel good sequel. But this book, the topics that were covered, of course, not everything I related to as a white male, but there were other aspects that I've connected to so deeply that it's one of my all time favorite books just based off of that. But if you haven't read this, check out some other reviewers and their words on it. Please, please, please go look, read it. It is such a phenomenal book. In fact, all of these books, please go read it. There's zero to hear because I personally haven't heard much hype about it. So I am hyping it up for you. Please go read them. I'm gonna keep saying it. Please, 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 please go read them. They are all great. I couldn't say enough about them, especially, you know, Miss Schwab is getting her coin from TikTok, but you know, go check it out too. It's worth the hype. All of these, so worth the hype. I can't, ex I, I mean, I say it one more time, why don't you? But all of them, please check them out. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, or whatever, and I hope you're having fun celebrating whatever you're celebrating today. I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.